guys, I'm Angie with Eat Sleep RV Repeat and as you see, I don't have Lou by my side today. I am flying solo because it is like not even 6 o'clock in the morning and she's still in bed and I've decided that I want to attend the Sprouts Farmer's Market Grand Opening. I've never been to a Sprouts because we don't have one down here. Well, we didn't have one down here in South Florida. One opens back in March in Wellington, which is in Palm Beach County, but the closest one to us from there is all the way I think in Winter Park like the Orlando area so I've never been to a Sprouts but I've heard lots of wonderful things and today is the grand opening of the one in Deerfield and yes I'm up at the crack of dawn because I want to be one of the first 200 people to arrive and get a free reusable bag filled with goodies and a 20% off coupon um, for my entire purchase so Let's see if I'm able to vlog while in there <laughs> and show you what it looks like and bring you along on this grand opening with me. Yay! <laughs> have already got in my spot in line and checked in just wanted to walk through the line and show you just about how many people are here there's actually a little station here in the front with complimentary coffee and complimentary muffins and as it turns out the first hundred people get the reusable bag filled with goodies and then the first 200 people get a 20% off coupon for their entire purchase. Guess what number I'm at? I made it through the 100, I'm number 96. Super exciting, but this is how far the line has come so far. Also, I talked to one of the managers and he gave me the A-OK -okay to vlog while inside. So that's great news, right? So let's get back in line and follow up with you guys once we're back inside. Talk to you later. Let's see how far we make it. We are all the way over here. Yep. They are giving out the baggies now. Okay. <laughs> Somebody must have checked because you say we're 89, 89.90.
it up. We'll do a little unboxing when we get home. What a big difference in light, right? When I got here, it was a quarter till six, 5.45 in the morning. It is now three minutes till eight o'clock in the morning and I'm still wired, which is good. I'm very excited about the savings that I achieved. However, I think Lou's gonna kill me. <laughs> she told me to try to keep it under $100. I told her totally I can do that. Well, let's see here. Oh, uh, it would have. Okay, let's start there. It would have been $279. I know, insane. But between the different discounts, um, things that were reduced in price, buy one, get ones, and then the 20% off coupon, I literally saved $101.95. Like, that's crazy that the bill was reduced by nearly half. So yeah, I paid 177. <laughs> so I'm 77 bucks over. She has to forgive me though, because I mean, hello, I still got $101 worth of groceries um, and savings. So yeah, got the back loaded up. Gonna go home and I guess I'll do an unboxing and go through the prices and what I decided to get um, with you guys. The opening was pretty awesome. There was a lot of people because obviously there were over 200 people in line by the time they opened. So the store was jam packed. Um, but even though it was jam packed, everything moved very smoothly. All the employees were super friendly, clapped for everyone, always asked if we found everything we needed or if they can help us with anything. Um, yeah, totally went above and beyond. What a great grand opening. So congratulations, you did awesome sprouts and I look forward to continue shopping from you in the future. Okay guys, so I am back. I am going to try to be as quiet as possible because Lou is still sleeping with both Lexi and Dita and I don't want to wake them up. <laughs> but first things first, I did promise that the first thing I was going to unbox for you guys is the goodie bag that they gave to the first 100 people in line. And this is the bag that it came in. How cute is that? Sprouts, talk, foodie, talk foodie to me. Deerfield Beach, 2019. <laughs> so, let's see what's in here. <laughs> so there is a magazine, naturally. Danny CEO. All right, we'll see if there's anything keto friendly in here. I'll be checking this out later. Let's see what else is in here. All right, so there is this little package of Wild Planet, Wild with flavor. It's albacore wild tuna. And let's see here. It looks like there's a little packet, which is great for lunch. And, oh, and then there's a save $1 off coupon in the back with that. That's cool. I love tuna. There's some, is this toothpaste? Ooh, yes, it is. Spry? I've never even heard of this brand. With xylitol and aloe. So that's cool to hear that it's with xylitol because there's this whole thing going around that toothpaste actually does break your fast. Um, because a lot of toothpaste has, you know, fluoride and sugar. So if you're fasting, Believe it or not, brushing your teeth breaks your fast. So this toothpaste is sweetened with xylitol and erythrol. I don't think I said that properly. <laughs> um, so it probably won't break our fast. So that is super dope. Looking forward to trying this. There is Mayer's Clean Day Hand Soap. I've never bought this brand, but my sister-in-law does for her dishwash, her dish liquid, her hand soaps. So excited to try that. What's this? Arnicure gel? Pain relief, muscle pain and stiffness. So, hey, never know. Maybe when we're done playing pickleball or disc golfing and we're sore, this will come in handy. We've got some mega food. C 
Tasty Defense. Supports daily immune functions and this flavor is tangy citrus gummies. So there's 90 gummy bears in here. And last but not least, this is the one I'm most excited about. This is the Vital Proteins Collagen Peptides. And I've been meaning to buy this on Thrive Market. Um, so it's nice to see that Sprouts has it and I don't have to order it online. I can just drive up to Sprouts and get it. So here we go. And that's it. That is the goodie bag. Um, let's move into going through all the items that I bought at Sprouts. What I'm going to do is each item that I list or that I show you guys down below, I'm going to list the price and if there were any savings, what the savings was. So let's move on to that. Okie dokie, now that we got that out of the way, it seems like everybody that was checking out, they were giving each customer one reusable bag, um, in addition to obviously the one that came with the little goodies, but this one's a lot bigger. This one's like double or triple the size, um, and green is Lou's favorite color, so this is perfect. Let's go ahead and start with what's in here. First and foremost, um, I decided to get this. I've never tried it because I saw, if I'm not mistaken, on Ibotta, there's a $1 off um, cash back. So if you guys haven't used Ibotta, I will put my referral link down below. But basically, you scan your receipts or you can even like go through there and decide, I want this, I want that, I want the other. So when you go grocery shopping, you already know what to get and what cash back you get from that. And you can have it transferred into your PayPal account. I don't know if it goes into your bank account. Probably it does. Um, but I did see that these had, I think, cash back of a dollar each. So it was worth the buy. So we've got some zucchini noodles from CC's Veggie Company and some cauliflower rice. I was running low on, I ran out of my EVOO spray and I noticed that Sprouts has a ghee spray and an avocado oil spray. And I usually get the avocado oil from Primal Kitchen, so it was a huge savings getting it with the Sprouts brand versus the Primal Kitchen brand. So big savings with those. Ha! The walnuts, I think were like $3.99 a pound and Lou loves walnuts, so I went ahead and got her some walnuts to snack on and maybe I can bake some banana bread and include some walnuts in there. So I'm excited about the walnuts. <laughs> Something we eat often are sprouts and broccoli sprouts is one of our favorite. I believe, uh, don't quote me, but I think it's like two ounces of broccoli sprouts compares to like two cups of broccoli. So that's pretty awesome that you get that much nutrients in such a small little pack. So some broccoli sprouts. I haven't had these, but I saw a friend of mine that I follow on Instagram, uh, Stacy Keto and Court, has bought these at, I think, Costco's, as well as Sprouts, and she raves about them, so I'm looking forward to trying these little egg thins, and they will be used almost like a burrito, or like a wrap, so, so got some turkey breast, and medium cheddar. And I love Applegate because there's no antibiotics, no nitrates, you know, um, to mainly raised, so very delicious. Decided to get a little sweet treat every so often. Lou and I um, want some chocolate and sometimes I end up baking my own. <laughs> well, I shouldn't say baking, I should say boiling because I do a double boiler and add my stevia, but Lily's sweetens their chocolate with stevia so instead of me having to do it myself every so often i treat us and buy these um so i don't have to make it so i got two of these salted caramel milk chocolate uh stevia sweetens 40 percent cocoa delicious mm -hmm. uh -huh. this is another one i haven't tried but Thomas D. Lawner, I don't know if you guys have followed him, but he is huge on YouTube and I follow him on Instagram also. And he talks a lot about good fats. This is a great, you know, little snack bar, you know, for keto because it is loaded with fat. So I went ahead, these were buy one, get one free. So I got four of them. Two of them, I got chocolate chip cookie dough and 
the other two peanut butter chocolates. So looking forward to trying these good fat bars. This is another buy one get one free and haven't had these. These are hemp hearts. And I noticed Bobby with Flav City, follow him on Instagram and on YouTube, has a recipe for keto oatmeal using hemp hearts. And that's something I totally miss. I used to eat oatmeal all the time, pre-keto. And now that I've been on keto, I've missed it a lot. So I'm looking forward to trying his recipe with these hemp hearts. What else do we have in here? Ha ha. <laughs> Went ahead and got a pancake and a waffle mix. As you can see, also keto friendly. And they also were buy one, get one free. So took advantage of that. Got some Silent Husk because we are almost out and this is something I usually buy at Whole Foods. Um, I use it in baking and then every so often we also just drink it. I think we have one tablespoon or two, I think one tablespoon with eight ounces of water and it really does help the digestive system. <laughs> I think these were three for something. I don't know if it was three for five, three for something. It'll say down below. But these also were on Ibotta, so I'm going to get cash back for buying these. I went with two that are unsweetened raspberry teas. Well, I should say sweetened with um, stevia. These are Zevia blend, uh, Zevia brand. And then I got an energy drink also. So I took advantage of those three. Coconut cream. Ugh, yes, I get this often. I get it at Trader Joe's or at Whole Foods and went ahead and got it at Sprouts now. And I usually use this in all of my curry dishes. Um, a little spoonful in your coffee goes a long way. It's really delicious also. And I noticed that Bobby with Flav City also uses a little bit of it in his oatmeal. So, got two cans of that. And that is it for this bag. Let's go ahead and get this one out of the way. Went ahead and got some Michelob Ultra. Um, this is super keto friendly, 85 calories, 2.5 carbs. So we don't drink that often, at least anymore, not since we started keto, but every so often it's nice to treat ourselves to a nice refreshing drink when we're hanging out at the pool or eating some chicken wings. <laughs> so decided to get some beer so that we have that in stock. The berries are on special. I think they were like $2.99 and this is like a huge container. So took advantage of that because Lou normally has a smoothie just about every morning. Speaking of smoothie, she puts ginger in her smoothie, so went ahead and got some ginger. And these two items, again, something I have not had, but Stacy with Keto and Court that I follow, um, puts this in her coffee, and I'm really excited about trying it. She has the Stevia Caramel, so almost like having a caramel latte, and then the Stevia Vanilla. And what I've done in the past is just put my regular sweetener and then put vanilla extract in it. So, this I'm killing two birds in one shot. So excited about trying that, especially the caramel one. Mm, delicious. We are out of EVOO, so went ahead and got some of that. The Sprouts brand has great prices, by the way. Really impressed, and also impressed that they're using a dark bottle, not a light bottle, because if you buy your EVOO in a light bottle, the light coming through in the store you know, in your pantry, wherever, actually, not dilutes, I don't know the proper word, but it basically, like, lowers the intensity or the flavors of the um, extra virgin olive oil, so the dark bottles actually help preserve it <laughs> and keep its flavors um, intact. The asparagus, if I remember, it was like 98 cents, which I was dumbfounded about. I was so excited when I saw this on their weekly ad because they're nice and fat and who buys asparagus for 98 cents? That was exciting. I was a little disappointed with the Hoss Avocados. They were 98 cents each. For some reason I thought they were 48 but yeah no. So I only got two of those. And eggplant. So I do a couple of things with eggplant. I make kick-ass curry eggplant and I also do a great breaded fried one where it tastes like a breaded fried steak like country fried steak um but I do it with eggplant and so delicious so I had to get that and let's move on to the next couple of bags this is an item that I love and we buy it pretty often in Publix 
because Publix usually has a lot of buy one get one freeze. So since I saw that Sprouts had the same one and also had buy one get one free, I went ahead and took advantage of it. Um, so these are uncured beef franks from Hebrew National and they're pretty awesome. They're uncured so keto friendly and they're very delicious and we have them often as like a lunch item. Another trial item. Um, we normally buy Diet Coke. Some people think it's not so great for keto. Others think it's okay. Well, we drink it here and there. Lou drinks it, I think, every day. I drink it here and there. So we went ahead and I went ahead and got the Zevia, which is a cola flavored with uh, stevia, right? Stevia? Let's double check that that I'm saying it. Yeah, a stevia leaf. Perfect. So we can go ahead and enjoy this, whereas I think the Diet Coke has sucralose in it. Um, so that'll be better. Hopefully she likes it. If she does, then I'll go and start buying these going forward. So, yeah. <laughs> Every so often, it's nice not to cook. So getting a little rotisserie chicken is perfect. And this one, oh no, I made a mistake and I got the barbecue. <laughs> Barbecue's not good for keto because it's sweetened. Uh, it probably has sugar in it, but... I guess we're gonna have to bite the bullet. I went with the rotisserie chicken that has the no on, no antibiotics, so it was a little bit more on the pricier end, six ninety nine, so not too horrible. But um, hey, I think I'm gonna leave this out for today, and I won't have to cook, so that's perfect. <laughs> Alrighty, so I got this butcher shop one hundred percent grass fed uh, beef. It was three ninety nine a pound, and I got two pounds worth. Um, I do picadillo, which is like a Cuban ground beef. I make meatballs. I make my own patties. Um, what else do I do with the ground beef? The meatballs, the patties. I put it in lasagna. Um, I put it in a spaghetti sauce. So, yeah, obviously I'm not going to do all of that with two pounds, but it goes a long way. Also, the chicken was buy one, get one free. And it was either the chicken thighs the chicken tenders, the chicken uh, breast. I didn't go with breast. Well, actually, I think the tenders is part of breast because it's like all cut up. So I got tenders and I got tenders. Another item that was buy one, get one free were the ribs. So we've got, which kind is this? Baby backs. Hey, so we've got some ribs. There's one, and then here's the other. Oh, this one is pork loin baby backs. That one said the same. Yeah, pork loin baby backs. Okie dokie. The next two items are actually seafood items. So I got um, a pound of wild caught Alaskan, oh, I don't even know why I said Alaskan, wild caught salmon. And I had them cut it into four fillets for me, so that's going to be two nights of dinner to each. And I got one pound of, were these medium or large? I don't know. This is 15 count. It was either medium or, la or large, but I got one pound of shrimp as well. And that is it. <sighs> so that, my friends, is the grocery haul at the Sprouts Grand Opening today. So thanks bunches for coming with me to Sprouts and checking out their grand opening and seeing my haul. <laughs> um, let me know if there's any items in here that are staple items for you and what you think of them, especially the things that I've never had before, such as the Zevia teas and the sodas um, or the sweeteners. So many great items. So let me know and hopefully I will catch you next time. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and if you haven't yet please subscribe for now we have lots of South Florida fun in our channel and in the near future once Lou and I move into our RV you're gonna catch us traveling throughout the lower 48. So yeah, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye! <gasps> I meant to get Dies. Okay. <laughs>
if this is your first time tuning in to our channel, my wife Lou and I um, are planning on hitting the road and be full-time RV living. And, no, not like that either. What should I say? 